We've got incredible range with the TST 507 TPMS system. We are using a repeater. Repeater is very easy to put on. Here's the system. This is the four sensor package TST 507 with the color display. It's an awesome display. We'll go in and take a look. On the repeater, you just got one wire to the positive to the battery, one to the negative or to a ground. I did not try it without the repeater. Some guys are having pretty good luck without it, but it comes with the kit now. You don't have to pay $60 for the repeater. Here's how they look. They say for steel or rubber valve stems. These are kind of half and half if there is such a creature. Steel down here, brass, and then rubber. Setup is really neat. You can program them on any tire you want. On the driver's side, I'm calling that number one, number two. Then on the passenger side, the front tire is three, back tire is four. We'll do a range test this way also. Try to get an idea how long it takes it to boot up. After it connects, I'm going to back down the driveway. I get an idea of how many yards away I get before the signal. If we can tell if the signal even drops out or not, or at what point it drops out. Well, that could take up to 15 minutes. So I'm going to shut this off and I'll turn it back on. I'll give you an idea about how many minutes it took for it to boot. It's only been about four minutes now. Once you get the icon for the repeater, looks like a little tower right here with a signal on both sides of it. Once he comes on, then the tires, the tire data will start coming in one right after another one. Usually there's a right rear, left rear, no data, right front, no data, left front, no data. Left front has data, right rear has data, and we finally got data on the left rear and the right front. Okay, now we'll back down and see what happens when we get out of range, basically just see how it behaves. I'll have a laser range finder with me to get an idea of how many yards away we are. Well, right now we're setting at 48 yards away from that lower right front corner. The repeater's about another yard or so. The right rear, I notice on temp, runs three to four degrees hotter than the other three. I'm at 73 down to 68, five degrees difference, 72, and then a 70. We just got a half inch of rain, so that might have cooled things off. 68 degrees is in the shade. The hottest ones has been in the sun, but we just had a half inch of rain. Let's back up and see what happens to the signal. It ranges 99 yards from this dash to the right front of the fifth wheel. So we're at 100 yards from the repeater. Now it is showing a signal. The question is, is it the same data just repeating itself? Or is it actually being updated? The right rear was 73 and the left rear was 68. We've got a five degree spread on that. Okay, setting at 100 yards, let's shut it off and see if it will reboot and acquire a signal. We're looking for the repeater icon. It'll come on right above this number one. Well, after five minutes, we cannot pick up the repeater. Looks like 100 yards is too far for it. Let's move up to 50 yards, turn it off, and see if we can engage the repeater. I just started the truck, put it in drive, and drove a few feet. We're setting at 96 yards, and the repeater icon came on. So I went ahead and stopped it. We're setting at 96 yards. Let's just see if all four tires can send data to the display. After about three to four minutes, all four tire data is coming in at 96 yards. I would call that a pretty strong signal. And it needs to be strong because when you get into cities, you get so much interference on other frequencies that run really close. From the repeater, we should be about 36 yards. It comes on when you charge. Recharging here. Wand indicates the first trailer, number one trailer. It's cooling down a little bit in the evening. They were mounted about three hours ago. Temperature was closer to 80, 81. Pressure were running 78 to 79. Another good features once you get it charged up the display will run four to five days on this internal battery internal lithium ion I think it's going to be an awesome system when I had it hooked up I went ahead and went back and unscrewed one it took about three seconds and I could hear the alarm I had this display sitting up there where my battery is in the front of the fifth wheel I screwed it back on the alarm went off in about another two or three seconds I think we're going to be very happy with this if you got any questions just ask them in the comment sections. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Drive safe.